Hi Taurus! Welcome to my channel. We're doing your daily. This is the 15 to the 16 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. How is everybody? I see here bubbly. Are you bubbly today, Taurus? What's going on? Champagne, darling? Champagne? Maybe you're drinking. Are you doing a brunch while watching me this and this time? Okay. Do invite. I'm kidding. Mimosas. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I see here also milk and cuddles. What does milk and cuddles mean? I don't know. Spray it. That's what I say. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. The stories like to cuddle. I don't know. You tell me. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I know you guys like to suffocate people. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love my Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising. They just feel like they're suffocated with you, but you really don't do anything. It's just like, I'm not doing anything, so they just feel like they're suffocated because I'm not doing anything. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, let's see what's going on. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, I love my Taurus. Oh my god. Okay, too much. But there's Empress and the World Card Ace of Wands over here. Um, you can be connecting with an when Empress energy, this person gets everything that they want in the world. Ace of Wands is, you know, they're probably seeing someone or they want to see you. You got me? Or that could be you also. Okay. Let's see. Taurus, here we go. The Juicy Goosey. Good morning, America. Good morning, world. Welcome to Juicy Goosey. Here we go. Three of Pentacles. Well, what else do you want to do? You're going to work, right? I'm just going to work, pal. I like, I like having two to three jobs, you know? A little bit of learning here. I'll be a student at night. Mm -hmm, I know about that. And I have a nine to five. Okay. You know, I, I like to be involved with a certain structure. Okay. With, with a, with... Uh, you know, not. I mean, I call I call jobs facility, okay? Because it's almost like you know, when you have a job and you work for a company or whatever you work, whoever you work for, it's like um, it's not a sanctuary, okay? It's almost like a facility. So you're involved in some sort of facility, and then afterwards, well, you know, it's time for me to learn. Maybe I'll apply to I'll apply to become a student of something, okay? I'll learn a new skill. Even it's like, oh, I'm interested in this. That's the three of pentacles. That can be you. Or the other person that you're connecting with, uh huh? Because you're always trying to search for um, more higher learning, okay? So, okay, I'm not gonna go deep with that because I have to see, the, okay? Because then I will see the pada, the nakshatra. Oh my god, please! I, that's why I don't want to study anymore because then it's gonna apply to all the readings, okay? But they're just saying that this is gonna be third house pada on you, because <laughs> if. Uh, Let's not go there. Okay, because it's gonna be deep. It's gonna be like you're just trying to search for new answers and learning because you wanna shed light onto things that are like you don't understand. So you wanna go and study. Okay, there you go. Now you know. But that can be the person also that you're connecting with. Let's see here. Ten of Cups? I, I don't know what happened after the new moon. Okay. Calm down. Okay, come down. Okay. In Vedic astrology, it happened in Cancer. Not in Leo, because it happened in the last degree, which is in the Ashlesha part. Things that you've been holding on to. That's why it's still going to resonate if you put it in Leo. Okay? Because I don't know. I don't even know what Leos are doing. Don't worry about them. I got them. Okay? <laughs> Who cares about them right now? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> so... As it happens, okay, this very, I think that was a very auspicious energy for everyone, okay, because it's happening where things that we really try to hold on to, okay, wherever you're, wherever the cat, of course, it has to apply where you're holding on to, meaning, think of it, where was, where is the fourth house and where is cancer and the natural lord? Okay, now I just gave so much, right? Okay, so for example, okay. If you are Aries rising, okay, and it happened in your fourth house, of course, it's a natural one, the cancer one, okay, then it probably happened with your mom, okay? <laughs> just saying, okay? Now, just move it to each house, and then just Google it, okay? Google where your, where cancer is in your in your chart, okay? But if you're a Taurus, of course, now it's going to happen where, okay? It's going to happen in your third house, can be, right? Taurus, Gemini, this, I'm talking about rising sign, okay? So, Taurus, Gemini, cancer. Right, so now it happened in your in your in the way that you. Oh wow, it happened in your studies, right? Because three of pentacles, I believe, is also um I, I forgot what it is, but I think it's also learning. So you're learning something also. Can be you you have uh, spoken with your siblings, you've talked with your friends, 
and then you learn something and then they told you it's like you know what Taurus you're doing this the wrong way and it's time for you to do the right way not accusing you okay because it can happen also to the other person that you're dealing with and then a lot of the energies where well we're only at the five minutes we're only two cards a lot of the energies were stripped off okay so very very good very very good okay and it's starting already i see here because the ten of cups okay the ten of cups is a k2 at its prime okay when i say k2 at its prime it's amazon okay <laughs> meaning okay self-fulfillment through within okay because this is what you're good at. So if you were good at talking to your brothers and sisters, if you were good at your career, it's happening already. And here comes your Rahu, your soulmate, your karma. Okay? There you go. Dear Lord, we're only at the two cards. Okay, let me see the other person. <laughs> Three of Pentacles here. The Sun card. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay? It's probably as the sun shifts, okay, because I'm pretty sure where is it, 12. I think it's and the 14th, the sun moves to Leo, okay? The sun, okay, again, with all due respect, okay? Vedic sidereal, it's going to move to Leo. So a lot of people were thinking they're a Leo, they're not. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> they were, probably they're in the rising sign. I'm not here to, to spill the tea on their sign, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they want to be as a leader, you know, it's like to each his own, just saying, okay. <laughs> but this is about someone learning also about their astrology chart. Three of Pentacles is learning what the real zodiac is. You're gonna have an aha moment where it's like, wait, what? Wait, what? Because <laughs> uh, Three of Pentacles is astrology and tarot and divination. So you could have probably, uh, you know, you did something with a juju and you learned something also. Like, wait, this is my soulmate? Wait. You know, a lot of things, okay? Which is good because after the new moon, it's all about, you know, breaking bad, breaking new, okay? That's what I say, okay? But you could be connecting with a Cancer Sun, Leo Rising, okay? That's what I'm saying. Or that's your chart. Mm-hmm. 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 That's the other person is a Prince of Wands. So chemistry at its finest, of course, that's a Princess of Wands. But um, with the Ten of Cups, they like themselves too much, <laughs> This is a person who loves love and is in love with himself, which is good. And that's why the other person is attracted to them. You, you, you understand me, right? When you do it, oh, wow, that's good. Okay, this is K2 as its prime again. Okay, knowing who they are and what they are and they love themselves. So here comes the other person It's just like, wow, I just found out like you're so into yourself. <laughs> and I like that. Okay, so the attraction becomes, go. It, well, this is where, it's, where they say it's... Um, was it getting fonder of the other person? You know, something like that. I don't know what's that fonder word. That fonder thing, okay? So this is what the, the other person is experiencing, okay? Let me see here. The the sun card is also, um, you know, going in the same direction as the soulmate, okay? Let me see here. Underneath the sun card. Wow! <laughs> Talk about my reaction. Six of cups with the sun card. Is your D9. So, you know, activation of your Navamsha. So you're probably in your 26, 36, 450, 56, okay? It's all about the six for me, okay? I should stop using the word six. My accent comes heavy in the six. <laughs> it's not pretty, guys. Okay, but I say I'm cultured, okay? <laughs> six of Cups with the Sun card energy. Um, they're present, you're present, okay? It's about the present, okay? Because it's about, it's interacting, it's here, the energies are vibing, okay, with the Six of Cups. It's not just the love and the soulmate is in your house right now, but it's it's uh, it's reciprocated by that person. So however you feel, if you feel bad towards them, they feel bad towards you. Don't just think it's like, oh, when they love you, they love you. No, we say reciprocated, right? You hate them, they hate you, okay? You have to understand that. That's what they're saying also. But right now, it's love, okay? <laughs> no, it's love, okay? So let's see here the other person. Oh, temperance, as above, so below. This is my my soulmate up there. It comes down here, which is the Six of Cups. They're present, okay? So their incarnation has happened already. They're alive, they're breathing, they're, in, they're next to you. That's creepy, okay? <laughs> temperance, okay, with the... You probably have an Aries in your chart or a Pisces in your chart that is very much reactive to this because the Pisces has got this. Why does everybody start with the Pisces? I don't know. Come back. With the temperance here, of course, Sagittarian energy, but at the same time, for me, that's a Leo energy, okay? Uh, don't ask me why. Um, with the Ten of Cups here and temperance, there are things in their life that they're managing with regards to um, not just their family. Um, it's like this. Someone is trying to fix their retirement. <laughs> because it's like this. This person wants to have the forever part. 
Okay, whoever this is. So even that they are not there. Oh wow, I'm going I'm getting emotional for the retirement part. I'm gonna put that there. Even though that this person doesn't have anybody yet, okay, <laughs> whoever this person is, they're fixing it. Now, don't ask me why, but they're doing it, okay? Meaning, this is a person who deals with their 401k. I want to have a house. I want to have this. Not the whole I, 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 want, want, want. It's about they're making good choices in their life right now. How deep is this person? <laughs> and how deep do I have to read? They're making good decisions in their life, putting down the foundation, and they're preparing for their death. Okay? Not saying that they're dying, but their retirement is close to death. Okay? <laughs> so if, they're, if that's what they're doing, okay, this person is getting more drawn and more drawn because this person loved themselves, okay? That they don't want to be homeless when they're 55. They don't want to be homeless when they're 66. And that's a very attractive for this person. They like that this person, oh my God, this is so good. This energy is so good. This person is connected to that retirement. And that's why it's the forever part. It's destined. The Navamsha is destined. So, you know, it's like, it's like the notebook. You know, they're going to be in the same, <laughs> in the same house. It's called the retirement facility. <laughs> That's the three of pentacles, the facility. So there's strong connection between you and this person that will lead towards retirement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't say it's going to be easy going there, but I see that you guys are going to go there to the facility. Okay, Taurus. So I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward with this energy. Wow, you guys got a 12. Okay. With this energy, my camera is going to overheat. Okay, with this energy, thank you very much guys for watching. Next, this is the snippet. Bye, guys. Let me see here. Possible outcome here. Everybody's it's giving a gift. All okay. right. So this communication move on. Four of Wands. Oh, my God. So <laughs> the Ace of Swords, those applications. And they're about to commit. Oops. Also, destined also. Look at that. Those are all just wonderful.